So hello and welcome <laughs> to um, to Midlife Models. And um, Good evening, I'm ladies joined... and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Hello, PJ. I'm joined by my surprise guest, who is the same guest as last time, <laughs> which is Laz from Lazlo Collectibles. Good evening, guys. It's Laz from Lazlo Collectibles. Thank you, mate. Um, we, we was just saying uh, off air. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, the pleasure's all Laz's. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. We were just saying offline. I think we like to break the week up by doing something a little bit different, and these chats give us that chance to do that. Um, so, as I say, thank you. Thank you to Laz for joining us. Um, no, the pleasure is mine. The yours, pleasure is mine. Um, <laughs> if you're in the chat, please drop us a drop us a, a name drop. Let us know who, it, who you are, where you're from, so we can give you a shout-out. Um, as I say, there's only me and Laz this time. I did give, I did give uh, Luke a shout, but I think he may be busy. Um, So right, just having a message from the daughter. So what we're going to talk about is um, our little trip to Stafford and bring uh, bring Laz up to date with some of the things that we found there. So I've got a little slideshow. Um, oh, I did have up and, up and running. Just bear with me a second. It was uh, so well prepped, and now it's all gone south. Here we go. All right. So one of the things we can do on this stream yard is to um, start to show some photos. Uh, play apps, hello, hello, mate, how you doing? All right, uh, welcome along. So um, at the weekend, um, we attended the Stafford Toy Fair, um, and these are just a few of the models that I collected. Hey, play apps. Uh, the the guys filled the bags. Um, what we did find was that the um, the prices had gone up more than we had expected. Um, so I'll just pause it there. So the guys that turned up was Andy Bourne, Martin from Martin Martin Dare's Dinky Restorations. We got Luke there, excuse me, from Diecast Outlaw, and yours truly from Midlife Models. Um, we had a little. We went around that we went around the show and um and you forget me, I was in that bag. I was in that bag, but Martin Hessen. <laughs> you can see he's got the biggest bag, can't you? You know what I mean? He's he's yeah. he's uh, and he got recognized again. Can you believe it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but on the gonna, market. He, he's gonna kill me for this, but it's it's I swear to God, he can't deny it because it's true. We went up to this stall. And um, I was I was chatting away to Martin, and the guy behind the the store owner, store owner must have heard Martin's voice and recognised his voice, and he said, um, "You're Martin Dare, aren't you?" And Martin's going, you, "You know, yeah, 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 yeah." He says, "I listen to every all your shows and blah 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 and blah blah blah," and he said, um, "Help yourself, help yourself to, to, to the cars, like so." Martin really? a few extra cars than he than he bargained for. Um, the guy was <laughs> really nice, to be fair. Um, wow! But it, it goes to show you that Martin has got that distinctive voice that um, people yes. recognise. You know. <clears throat> so we we did that. that. That was that was we had a bit of a laugh about that, but it was, it was really good fun. Um, I know that you do the markets, Laz. I don't know whether you've noticed this yourself. Um, we found that the prices seem to have gone up from from this time last yeah. year than we last year. Yeah, um, I had I had less. Yeah, it's it's less less customers. Yeah, and uh, it, yeah, it's it's more quiet than last year, definitely. Well, this time it, it usually um, the first time I went to Stafford. It was in three buildings that were connected to each other. It was like three different halls, and there's a there's a corridor between the three of them, uh, and it seems to be getting smaller as the years go by. Uh, so yeah. it was in two halls this time. Um, a lot of a lot of train stuff there. A lot of airfix and plastic. <clears throat> um, 
a lot of Star Wars memorabilia. Um, not so much early 70s toys that I seem to remember were there before. Um, I'll just pause this and you can... What I, what I wanted to show was uh, one of the stores that I did come across. Um, but we'll, we'll just let this play through. So, yeah, the prices have probably gone up by a couple of quid per vehicle. Oh, you, got, you, you got very young in Den. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this this particular store, um, I Retro Action, um, specialises yeah, in like Jerry Anderson stuff. Yeah, yeah Jerry Anderson stuff, yeah. Um, the the boxes are all repro boxes. There are some originals there in uh, in the in the plastic bubble uh, stuff material. But what he does, you can see that there's a black SPV there. He does alternate versions of Jerry yes. Anderson stuff, um, going up to anything between fifty to eighty pound. Like, and I, I could have spent a bucket load of money on that stuff really good yes so he's got all the dvds the books the magazines from that era uh, really good store um and it's the second time as you can see there's also the space 1999 eagle uh there yes. that i did the mobile there the fab one um uh, etc etc yes yeah i can see the fab ones down there yeah yeah so um not what we were looking for because we always go there with in with have with the thought that we're looking for stuff that we can restore these are all perfectly restored and you know you, there's nothing you can do to them really unless you're collecting them so there's luke and his boy uh and that's a shot from the car park across to the stafford hall um interestingly enough some weeks ago i got a a cap gun and when I was there this time, I picked up another one, and there it is. Uh, and this is a Streamline, and it's made by Replicast in 1973. So if you're old enough to remember the um, the cap guns, I was talking to the guy, and I says, oh, well, I don't know whether you can get the caps anymore. He says, you're very lucky. I've got some left. So the gun, not only is the gun from 1973, so are the caps. <laughs> mm. <laughs> They're that old. Um, and uh, and you couldn't I couldn't help but have a play with it when I got it home. And some of the some of the caps do still work, but it's like some of them are a bit damp and they've lost their um, they've lost their I had a few as well. My dad used to bring me some. Yeah. I had I had the one with the patrons, you know, with the with the with the red um ring yeah the, cut, yeah. With the bullets uh, yeah with the bullets in and it was really heavy that gun it was like a real gun I can, if i can put my hand on it mate i'll show you i'll show you exactly what you're talking about so there, and there's the caps uh, when we had a when we had the february party in the school i dressed up as a, as a cowboy and i had this gun on my belt and the others had the you know the plastic ones and when I right. put my hand, when I put my gun out and I fired them, it was really loud and and stinky. You know, it was like like smoke. And when when my uh, classmate hold yeah hold my uh, gun yeah that's the one. He said, "Oh my God, what a weight to this gun!" I said, "Yeah, that's a real stuff. I mean, you know, that's like a real real gun." Well, I went I went to a toy fair. Um... You remember Don Ackett um, from Australia? Don came yeah. over to the UK for yes several months. For work. Um, yeah. yeah, and I met him at a toy fair in the West Midlands. Uh, Evening, Mick. Yeah, um, and I picked up that one, and I thought that's really old. That's great. I'm, I love that. And I found out it was about twelve months old, oh. and you can still buy them on Amazon. So mm. that was a waste of time, but this is a this one is an original. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah, I'm looking at the picture. Yeah, and you know, for saying it's seventy three, it feels like a better quality toy. Yes. Uh, well, that was, that's fifty fifty one years old. Yeah, yeah, um, nearly as old as me. Um, but my intention with these are, um, 
I'm going to take the handles off them, and I'm going to and replace them with wooden handles, proper wooden well, handles. Um, and I might put them in a display case then. Uh, but one of the, one of the interesting things that I'm after is, what would you paint it with? Uh, I mm. almost want that blue gunmetal kind of yes. look on them. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you've got rotating parts, so the paint's going to rub off if you're not too careful. Yes, so anyway, yes. Uh, so that was completely left field, what was after. Um, this one, this Lotus Elite, um, if you remember when I did the Formula One John Player special yeah, last you got week. The black one, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is the car that tows it, but it's in black. Um, and I brought this, and it was four pound. Mm. It's, it's four pound, but it's in really good condition. And yeah, Andy says, "What are you going to do with Andy Bourne?" Said to me, "What are you going to do with that?" I says, "I'm going to strip it back and paint it." <laughs> and he says, "Why are you going to do that? It's in really good condition." And I said, "Well, I want it for my, um, you know, uh, for the trailer set." But Andy says oh, he's got, got one that might be breaking down, so he's going to let me know. But it's um, it's in really good condition that one is. But yeah, I've also seen nice. it in yellow as well. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Yes. So that was the Lotus Elite. Um, it just so happened there was another John Player special for sale, and every time I see one, I've got to buy it. So I've just done two, and I've just seen another one now. So I saw that, um, and then. Oh my! This, wow, how sad does that look? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you, as a fellow collector and restorer, and bear in mind, you've got to think this is a Jerry Anderson vehicle. How much would you pay for that? For this, and it's, it's at a show. It's at a toy show as well. It's not just a, you know, off Facebook or whatever you like. So, how so much? like this, how much I would pay? Yeah, yeah. No more than a fiver. No more than a fiver. How much you paid? I'm ashamed of myself. Well, I'm not. I paid twenty pound for it. Yeah, if you like it, it's okay. If you want I, to pay, I felt, um, I felt so sorry for it. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, it looks. Uh, uh, S H I P. Uh, yeah, the German stickers and whatever you like. I don't know what the person who had it before me had got in the mind. Um, it's probably a kid, uh, you know, enjoying themselves with the with the stickers. Um, so yeah, so I thought I've got to have it. But the thing that well, you have, got, you have the antenna. Yes, yeah. exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth. It's got the original antenna in there, and I have taken it out before now, uh, so I know that I can take it out. Um, what? I've got a question for you, actually. Those um, decals are proper decals, okay? So they, I think they may have come off an Airfix kit or something like that. Yeah. What would you use to remove decals? We, we're fine at getting chrome off and, uh, you know, chrome paint and stuff like that, but I've never had to take decals off a vehicle before. Oh, you don't want now, to restore please, this. You don't. You don't want to paint strip this. I'm going to paint strip it. Yeah, but as you, you, you can you see where it says twenty, the number twenty on the uh, yeah, on the that's windscreen. Plastic. That's plastic, and it's got a decal on it. How would you remove the decal off a plastic? I would. Wall? I would just spray it with um, I think maybe oven cleaner. That's a good call. I might give it. A, I don't want to ruin it, so um, I'm just. Yeah. Chucking it out there for a bit of advice, really. I think Martin uses uh, oven cleaner on, on the plastics. I mean, I use I use oven cleaner on plastics, but I never tried on windscreen. Yeah, I mean, I've used um, on the John Player Special. Uh, it's got a lot of gold parts on it, and I've used the uh, I've used Mister Muscle oven cleaner. Put it in a tub, put the lid on it because it's smells it's toxic stuff yeah it like. stinks yeah yeah um and that works or, well but i've never done it with decal yeah you can you can maybe try uh um 
and they are polish remover as well yeah because we need to polish. Tried methylated spirits that doesn't work yeah i think maybe nail polish remover and uh because you need to polish up this windscreen anyway so even if it goes matte after the um nail polish remover you can polish it up you know you can you can uh put the you know the that um auto i forgot the name of it you know that uh paste or you can use uh you know the floor floor polish well that that decal will come off definitely i'm wondering i mean people have talked about things like brake fluid uh i wonder whether that i might have a might have, uh no try myself lighter lighter fluid okay i never tried the brake fluid we got six uh, messages pj so let's see yeah uh, go for it. mick mainly hi les greetings hi, hi, so evening mix diecast outlaw is here look hi guys and uh play apps uh he tried the uh not tried myself lighter fluid he said yeah lighter fluid yeah i've never tried lighter fluid yeah okay i so don't look, think me and here. lighter fluid would work well together you know your, your out, original yeah. guest is here bj <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> my one and only <laughs> um so that's um i was thinking about doing it for the uh tv or film vehicle um i've already done one of these um, yeah but looking back on that guy's jerry anderson store i didn't know whether i'd like to do a black version mm. i've already got a red the red version so this, this version. yeah so do, do another color yeah 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 make it make it your own collection you know make it your own yeah yeah own piece yeah because we're not as we say in the dmc we're not rivet counters you know we, we like to do things our own way because it suits us british racing thinking, like a captain black version of the uh, spectrum car. yeah or you can so, you you like you like batman as well so you can do this as a batman yeah, yeah. car yeah, yeah. And you hit two two flies with one um, hit. Kill so two you birds got... with one stone. Yeah, well, we say fly. Yeah, uh, you can have a Batman car with the Jerry Anderson uh, spice. I might put a Batman inside it, mate. That'll be a bit of a crossover, yeah. won't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, let's start this rolling again, and then uh, we'll see what else we we found. Um, now this this one. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you've been able to make it because the, the reason I've put this Morris Minor. I this know is Days Gone, said, isn't it? Days Gone. It's what, sorry? Is it a Days Gone model or Ledo? Uh, no, it's not the Days Gone By. Um, it's not It's not even a well-branded. Uh, it's not a Corgi or a Dinky. I can't remember yeah. what it is now. It's not even an Ertl. However... Um, the reason I picked this up, I remember you saying that you did a car for your dad. Um, a few was it last year, a couple of years ago? Yeah, it was a Skoda and a, um, yeah. a crane, crane car. Yeah, a crane yeah. lorry. Um, my dad was a painter and decorator, and he learned to drive in this vehicle in a Morris mm. Minor. Mm. Uh, so what I want to do is. It was it was only a couple of quid, it wasn't expensive. It was more the vehicle than it was the cost. Yes. I want to take the sign off it and I want to take the blue light off it because I can use them on another vehicle, whatever. Yes. Uh and I want to paint it cream and chocolate brown on the wings. And mm -hmm. that reminds me of my dad's vehicle, my dad's first van when he learned to drive. It did have a painter and decorator's sign on the on the panel uh for, for his coach work company. So that was a nice little gem to pick up. Yeah, memories. Uh, now these, 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 this, this. Unfortunately, these photos are arse about. Sorry, reverse about. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the next one. So you can see that there, where it's been. Uh, I've put some paint remover on that to see if I could get it off. 
because originally it looked like that. And mm -hmm. somebody got the original model, which was green, and oversprayed it with green. This is the military one, I think. Yeah, it's the... Um, yeah, it's Matchbox. Yeah, it's the mobile crane. The. Um, but this is the military Hercules. version, I think. Yeah, it's a military yeah. version. Yeah. It's the only one that I know that's got two K numbers. It's K12 and K113. And it's mm -hmm. the Hercules mobile crane. Uh, so this one's a bit of a bit of a big project, really, um, because there's lots of pins in it uh, where it extends out yes. for the crane. Uh, but I would really like to. It's another one that I felt sorry for, and I paid two pound for that. Yeah, it's good. Is, yeah, this one. That's this nothing, one's you know, um, Yeah, if you restore this one, this looks nice. Yeah. Uh, no worries, Luke. Not a problem, mate. What's uh, happening? Yeah. Because I'm not reading the messages. It's all right. I, I sent Luke a message to see if he wanted to join us, but he's only just got in from work, so that's a bit unfair. Uh, so that, that's Don't know your name. Welcome along, buddy. Not a problem. Um, what I did, what I have forgot, Luke, and please forgive me, is what your lad's name was. So post it in the chat for me, because I did want to give him a shout out. Um, so what else? What else have we got? What else we've we got? Now, Andy, bless him, uh, the John Player special that I've got, that I've done recently, was 136 scale. Andy, when we went out to the car park, gave me a 118 scale. Yeah, this, this looks special. bigger. Yeah. It's huge. Um, and what and you can see from the model, the snorkel or air, air filter behind the driver's head's missing. Yeah. Um, so I've got a bit of... Um, Plasticine, did a bit of molding and then got some bolts of wood and, and made a replacement part. Now, what I can do, uh, that's not going to go on there, by the way. I was creating a pattern. You, you, uh, you you're going to do a 3D uh, or? Well, no, I'm going to do um, molding. Uh huh. Make a molded part. So it will be in uh, resin before I, mm -hmm. before I do it. So I'm going to have a go at doing that. That'd be a nice little project as well. Well, say a nice little project. It's a huge project because the size of it. And yeah, it's a, it yeah, it looks big. Well. Yeah, it looks big. Uh, so that was that. So there's the boys again. Owen, uh, so thanks, thanks, Luke. Owen joined us, uh, which was Luke's son. There, so we'll pause. We'll just pause there. Uh, so on the end there, we've got Luke and his son, Owen. And the guys gave Owen a load of plastic kits to do, which was I think he was made up about. So the only condition we've asked is that he provides with some pictures of his modeling models when he's done them. So uh, well done, mate. He was, he was a real nice lad. So um, open he'll feel we've got to teach him how to drink on a Friday night, and then he'll be a proper tavern and like the rest of yeah. it. Yeah. So that was that, um, and that's the Jerry Anderson stuff. So that was um, that was our day out at Stafford. Uh, my thanks to Martin, Andy, Luke, and Owen for turning up. It's uh, they came from all directions. It's a bit of a shame you weren't there, uh, Laz. You know, put the effort in next yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yes, it would be nice. Yeah, it's it would be nice. Of, it's only a thousand odd miles. Like you know, get your finger out. Yeah. Um, we're going to do some. Uh, we're going to do some more, uh, and we'll probably do another one, another one or two before the year's out. Uh, probably a bit further down south. We want to do one up towards Bolton Stroke Doncaster, so that the likes of Paul from Pit My Diecast can meet us up there, and probably Lee from Diecast Fixer Uppers, and then probably go down south to Coventry. Uh, Coventry south for me. Um, I think it would have been. Where's, where was where was it you was at? Chelmsford? Me? Colchester. Colchester. Um, whereabouts is Colchester? Is that... Seven? Well, it's near Chelmsford. Oh, right. So you're, you're down south. That's London, London, yeah. uh, Chelmsford, Colchester, Ipswich. Right. We don't... We It's 
South, South of England. Yeah, Essex. Because Les is over on the uh, west coast. He's he's from Bristol. Oh, he's there. on the other side. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Um, Luke was. I think. It, I think. How long did it take you to get to Stafford, Luke? Was it about an hour and a half, something like that? Uh, I'm sure he'll post up for us. Uh, let me just uh, let people know that. Uh, we are we all like, really enjoyed it, PJ. Yeah, fantastic day. It was. Um yeah, two Cornish pasty, two cups of tea that I had like. It was um you can tell I've got to lose some weight. It's just I just don't photograph very well nowadays. <laughs> okay. So let's see if we can just remove that. There we go. Okay. Remove. Uh, oh, I forgot we did the layout now, lass. That it. So, what's your? I know. Um, I guess you haven't had much time to do much in the way of diecast this week. I know you've had problems. Yeah, well, um, I can show you a few cars. Yeah, I, by all means. By yeah, all means. hold on one second. They are cars I've got from the market. I need to fix them. So they are actually jobs. So this is, this one is from a guy I know from the market. And he lives in Romania. He lives in Arad, but he's Magyar. So he's a Hungarian. And he gave me this one because uh, I've done this before. I've done uh, this matchbox before, but they always have problem with the door. You see, it's plastic. Can you see? It's, yep. it's open, but that's, that's the plastic melted or whatever. So I've done another one of these, and I I heated up the plastic with um, with a lighter, and then I, I, I um, shaped it back to as it should be. And uh, he seen that car, and he said, "Oh, I've got one as well. Can you please uh, do this for me?" So I'm going to, okay. and I asked him if he wants me to repaint this. He said, "Yeah." So he wants it black, which is really simple because it's you know it's just going to be black and a little bit details and stuff like that. So that's one job, like a commission job, as you call it. And the guy who normally buys minis from me, he's got these dinky toys. And this is a dinky toys Bedford when I don't see number, I don't see year. This is the plastic wheel. So that's, I reckon, 70s or something. That's a, that's a funny shape. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Bedford. Okay. And he just wants me to paint this red. And I've got another one he gave me. That's the same model in yellow. This is the AA service. Okay. And uh, this one is exactly the same. Dinky Toys Bedford van. It's got two rivets, some sort of rivets on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I need decals for this. But I said to him, I will restore this one to yellow, and then we'll try to print the the oh, decals. Right. Or... So it's a more modern version of the Bedford van, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I said to him, or or I can I can buy them, and I said you're gonna pay for it. So either way, this one has the interior loose, as you can hear, but it's got the interior, but it's loose. Uh, the windscreen's good, so I can I can repaint them. I can see inside that the interior is loose. So a a service. There is a red a a service. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a red red sticker here, yellow on the front. Is it a sticker or is it a decal? It looks like this is sticker. actually. I think this is a sticker. 
Yeah. But I will I will look up if I if I um if I can find this sticker set, I might order it and I will tell him or I will ask him, do you want me to order it? You know, so and so. And if he says yes, I'll I told him I can I can buy it, I can put it on, and you'll pay for it. Yeah, anyway, he's gonna pay for me to restore these. So did you say that um I seem to recall that you said that you're able to have a go at printing decals now, is that yes, I can yeah, I still haven't I still didn't buy the um the cat cartridges. The cartridges, okay. Cartridges, but yeah, I mean I'm still thinking like how Martin thinks that is it is it really worth printing the stuff? But I've got five sheets of um decal papers and yeah I, I mean uh, if you were to do if you were to do five one sixty fourth scale vehicles and none of them had got decals on then it's not worth it. If yeah. you're doing you know like I like to do the Jerry Anderson stuff uh, if you would want if you want if you're gonna do one forty three scale Jerry Anderson stuff then you're paying I've even noticed that the price of decals is starting to go up as well. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I, I would like to I would like to, for example, I would like to put the decal on this um as a, a registration plate. Well, let me just oh now. Well, now that you funny you should say that. Our our mutual friend, Andy, um gave me a box. He sent me yeah, he sent me email as well. Of sent, registration yeah. plates, all yes. different sizes. Yes, he sent me an email as well. I I uh, I did uh, I think I did uh, text him that I've got the emails. Um, so yeah, I will I will try to uh, convert those into my system. Um, yeah, he's done he's done all sorts of um, bless him. Yes, he's got registration yeah, he plates, does. logos. <laughs> Um, yeah, he I does. He does. Yeah, he does the plate numbers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. he did show he, he me. Gave, uh, Andy said, "Would you like? Would you like um, a couple of boxes of logos and decals?" And I think me and Luke split in between us. So Luke's got a, quite a lot of the logos, and I've, I've got the number plates. So if anybody's looking for a number plates or registration plates, give us a shout out in the DMC chat, and uh, we'll see if we can help out. More than happy to. Share these out that uh, Andy's distributed or volu um, voluntary given, voluntarily given to us. Uh, they're, they're for the, the community, not just for me. So, what you got coming up, then, buddy? What's um, what's on the um, horizon? I think I think because uh, this Friday, I mean next next Monday is first of April. Um, I think I might release the diecast restorations without a video number two on Friday. I'm not going to wait till Sunday, I think. And uh, next Friday, I've got another video, the um, airport crash tender, which I can release next week. And I need to go back. I need to start working because uh, I need to, um, you know, uh, carry on with the cars. I've got loads of work. So, yeah, I don't like sitting and doing no work at all. Well, we've we've also been joined in the chat by um, Kevin from uh, Mr P from PFS. Mr uh, P, Project. good evening, Mr P. Good evening, Kevin. How are you doing, mate? It's good to see you. Good evening, Kevin. Long time no see. Um, we, we could probably ask the question. I'll probably ask the question now that uh, the likes of Luke and uh, Kevin have joined us. Um, removing decals. Has anybody had to remove decals from a from a model before? Um, a glass, you mean? Yeah, from a from well, well, from a, yes, because the uh, the actual diecast part of the model is going to get uh, caustic sodded, for want of a better phrase. But I've also got a plastic windscreen that's got decals on that need removing, and I don't want to. I don't want to take the Martin Dare approach and chuck everything in the caustic soda because it doesn't end well. Uh, Martin will tell you that yourself. He knows I'm only winding him up. Um, Save it. Anybody's got any solutions? Um, we've talked about brake fluid. We've talked about um, 
Oven cleaner. Oven cleaner. There's the other one that I've just come that's just sprung to mind, and I don't know whether it works on decals. Is Dettel. Um, I know that people people use Dettel as well. Yes, Dettel. Yeah. Can I? Uh, how many people are watching PJ? Can you see that? We, we, four or five, I think. Um, yeah. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I do um, a commercial break? By all means. By all means, my friend. You knock yourself out. Let, let me put the. Um, let me put the camera down. You're not selling Rice Krispies or Kellogg's cornflakes, are you? No. no I just want to show you my T-shirt. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Have you got a triple XL that you can send me? Yeah, I can. This is this is large. Oh, large ain't big enough, mate. I want a tent. Yeah, this is large. I think Mike, uh, Chicken Mike, um, I I think he's got 3XL. Yeah, that's what I want, yeah. Yeah. I think I should, I, I think I should get one of them for advertising your T-shirts on my channel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was thinking, actually, that I, I will take this with me, and uh, when we have a live, or I have a live or something, I will wear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Well, I was also thinking about... Um, Putting a well, not kind of a competition really, to get a really good logo for the DMC, and I've seen some DMC T-shirts made that'd be mm. really good. You know that we can, um, yeah, we can yeah. do when we're going out and, and stuff like that. Um, but the colours, as you can see with the midlife models colours, they're quite dark. Um, <laughs> Luke, Luke wants one of your shirts, mate. He wants my shirt. I don't know. I need. I need to think about it. <laughs> uh, Kevin saying, "Marcus set decal softener." I've got. You know, I've got. Now you say that, Kevin. I think I've got some. Um. This this is um referring to the um, Captain Scarlet SPC, the special patrol car. The internal glass has got some stuck decals on it, and they are rock solid. So yeah, um, mate, if we can flog some t-shirts for you, all the power to your elbow. We'll, we'll do so, mate. And stick and by by the way, stick a stick an image of one on the DMC chat and the Facebook chat. Um, you might have, I don't know somebody might buy one. Yeah, I might I might actually take a picture of and uh, yeah, I'll stick it on the stick DMC. It on the chat, mate. Stick it on the chat yeah. on the DMC, yeah. I can I can tell you now that it's it's I think it's fifteen pounds plus postage I normally charge. Fifteen pounds plus postage. Yeah, I, I don't know. How, I don't know if the prices went up. To be honest with you, I don't know that because I think these are last year prices. I mean, the the studio does it for me. I'll send you one pound seventy five and free postage. How's that? Thank you, Sean. Bitte schön. <laughs> I will send you. I will send you a business card. <laughs> <laughs> you can send me a little, a little mini last T-shirt that will fit my yeah, Batman or I, <laughs> or I send you. I send you a, a business card, and I will kiss it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Give... <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> Well, you have to get one of them white markers, and I've, I want mine autographed. <laughs> yeah, well, I I think I did send I did send some uh, when I still had them uh, little cards. I think uh, I um I did restore I think twenty cards for a Hungarian guy, and he said, "Oh, can you sign the card, please?" Wow! So I did. <laughs> yeah, I did sign it. Never heard from the guy again. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I did. I did a, I did a few cars for him. I've got the videos on YouTube. Um, I think so I've done a Land Rover. Kevin's asking if you've got one in six L. Six L. Yeah, he probably wants to cover his motorbike with one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the largest is like extra, extra large. I think that's the. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Kevin. I need to ask if. Um, if they have, <laughs> yeah. 
uh they have uh i think they have i have a color i have a color uh, scale a color uh, um picture of of colors you can you can have the um t-shirt in yeah I, it's, I th that, that's the problem i've got if, if i was to do some i probably the pro if i was to do a midlife models t-shirt the only person that would buy one is my mum that's about it really you don't you never know you never know <laughs> so um, I'll, I'd oh, like to I do a PMC one. i think they also do um polo shirts yeah yeah um yeah they are definitely more expensive than the little the normal ones i know i that. had some i did have some midlife mod i had two midlife model ones done but it was m the print on it you know, it's it's like getting one of them T-shirts from the seaside. After a while, it just it just peels off. You know, it wasn't these, very these are quite these are quite good quality. Uh, this is a this is a quite good uh, studio. This one is yeah. just next to my mom, so it, it's um, yeah, it's close to my mom. They they pretty good. They do rings. they they do prints. They do um, um, you know banners. They do uh, business cards. They do mugs, stuff like that, you know, like these kind of things. So they do. They have a they have a large scale of um, um, things they they can do for you. Play apps is saying key rings. That's key a good rings, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, they do key yeah. rings as well. Yeah, absolutely. I remember back in England, I've I bought six mugs for a pound each, white ones. Yeah, and I bought some. I bought some, um, you know, these marker pens, and I printed um, negatives for Lazio collectibles, and I painted it, and I baked it for half an hour, <laughs> and the first watch they come off. <laughs> I was so upset <laughs> because I worked hard with. We, I worked hard, and then they just come off for me <laughs> for the first time. It's interesting because when when you look up decal paper, the, the the adverts on the front, the cardboard on the front of the paper shows people sticking decals on mugs, so yeah. you can use your decals for creating some, you know, some branded mugs. Like if you if you want to go yeah. that far, but um, I don't know. Well, I had the, I had decals. Leslie Law collectibles, and I think I've used them on my, uh, you know, my cutting board, on my uh, <clears throat> whiteboard I used for for the channel. I think I think I'm going to do that. You know, I think that sounds like a really good idea. Is we'll put a challenge out there to everybody that's in the Diecast and Models community Facebook page, unashamedly advertising on Facebook. You can find us all there. Um, we do a challenge. Design as a DMC logo, you know, and then uh, we'll get some T-shirts, some key rings and stuff made. Yeah, that'd be really cool, that would. Yeah. yeah the one I've got at the minute, it's just too dark to print on anything. Well, you can... You, think about well, you dark can, blues and blacks. You can, you can do something with midlife models because midlife yeah, yeah. models is, is a bit, you know, generic. What is midlife models? <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah, you, I, I tend to get I tend to get somebody who subscribes for a day, and when they find out it isn't about ladies' underwear, they then don't, they unsubscribe. Then yes. I don't know what they're expecting to find. So maybe you need to put midlife models diecast division or something like that. You know, land crab or land crab or Martin Martin's alive and he's in the he's in the WhatsApp. We've got a. We've got, we've got a WhatsApp group as well, kids. So if you want to join the WhatsApp group, oh, we have a WhatsApp group. I didn't. We know have a that. I did put a. I did put a message out there, and you've totally ignored it. Um, what you need to do is to send me your mobile number in in a private. Don't put it into the Facebook general chat. PM me your mobile number, and because it works on mobile numbers, gets added to the WhatsApp group. So if anyone wants to join the DMC WhatsApp group, please PM me on Facebook Messenger me your 
mobile number. I'll add you as a contact, and you're welcome to join the group. It's uh, it was a good idea from Andy Bourne uh, to so that we could find each other when we go for a day out. You know, you can use a WhatsApp group saying I'm yeah. here, I'm there. Plus, it's quicker to send. Yeah, it's quicker to send uh, pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're up to 329 members in the DMC on the DMC channel now, which is fantastic. It's amazing. Um, What's what's Martin's uh, Martin sent a cracking picture. You know, it's it's amazing how many people join these these uh, uh, Facebook groups. I mean, the Bus Spencer Terence Hill group. I think they have forty thousand members. Yeah, but the ours isn't. Um, I, the, the, what I'm impressed about is that because. Ours is a private group. It's it, people join by word of mouth, you know. Yes. So yeah. it's the likes of yourself who've got a YouTube channel, Martin, Luke, people like that that have said, "Oh, come and find us on a Friday, or come and join the DMC chat." And um, we're usually getting one else two a week. Um, Super's just joined. Millie's just joined, as you know. Um, so yes. yeah. And it's also I benefiting think, other people, uh, you know, all the YouTubers as well. We have, I think we have people from from all the continents now. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I about mean, Asia so much. Um, uh, we must have some some Philippines or... We've, or got, we've got Canada, in the, Norway, Indonesia, Romania, UK. Yeah. Dubai. I thought Dubai was bizarre, you know, that we got Fraser from Dubai, but now we've got two people from Dubai. Really? Um, a guy called Ian, who's got a YouTube channel. Um, he's he's from Dubai as well. And I thought, it's a, you sit back and you go, it's amazing. Because usually, because when we first started, it was just a bunch of my friends, you know, the family and yeah. friends like. Yeah, and UK. Yeah, mostly the world, UK. It's, it's it's amazing. Yes. It's a real gives you a real good buzz. Um, you know the likes of Jerry in Queens, that's now moving to yes. Texas. You got Is he Rob. moving yet? Um, he was he was packing up as on Friday. Even as we were speaking on Friday night in the tavern. Um, if you don't know, uh, for those that are watching, uh, most I think are in the tavern or have been in the tavern before. On a Friday night, we do something very similar to this, but it's on Facebook, and there's ten of us screaming at each other, and they're all YouTube, all restorers. Um, it's not quite what's, this controlled. What's Ian's channels called? Um, asking Kevin, asking um, Kevin. If you look, I think I've got a pinned. Um, you done that picture, yeah. didn't you? In in the in the featured in the featured art, articles on in the channel on the DMC channel, I've put up a list of everybody that I know of who's currently subscribed um, as a YouTuber. Um, I think you've recently changed your channel name as well, Kevin. So by all means, drop it in the in the chat, and I'll I'll, I'll add it. Um, uh, so where's Ian? Ian, 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 Ian. It's all oh, right. It's Coxy, C O X Y, in Dubai. In actual, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll share it later. Uh, Coxy, C O X Y, in I N Dubai, D U B A I, twenty nine twenty nine. So Coxy in Dubai, twenty nine twenty nine, and his name's Ian. Um. I need to check that out. Yeah, not a diecast um, restorer, but he, he does track. He does um, tracks. I think uh, the racing tracks. Um, that's the, and I think that's the that's the other good thing we've got now, Laz, is diversity. It's not just uh, restorers. We've got it's not just that. Who... Yeah, it's not only diecast. It's plastic models, modeling, yeah. tra rail tracks, uh, uh, trade. Yeah, rail tracks. Um, Hot Wheels racing, yeah. 
yeah, I'd I'd like to get into the. Uh, yeah, but uh, the thing is, the, the more channels and apps that you join, the more your phone pings. Yes, <laughs> I've got I've got um, Instagram and uh, TikTok notification on. It's continue continuously ringing all day. I don't. I don't use TikTok. To me, TikTok proves that a clock's working. I've got no idea what else you'd do with that. I, I um, put my I put my um, when I uh, release a video on YouTube, I will take the before and after section of that video, put it on TikTok. So that's right. a short version of of um, of the YouTube video. Oh, so is it like the shorts that you can do on YouTube now? Yeah, and okay. I've got I've got the Renault Florid that has one thousand seven hundred and fifty views. For saying I'm in, working in, IT in or... about an hour. Right. Okay. So if I have just fifty people coming from that to the to the channel to watch the video as well, that's a good that's a good percentage. I um uh, can you can you remember that um, I used a an app called Chat API that came up with them questions to ask a guest yeah, the, on the yeah, DMC. The I went on to it and I said to it, if I've got a restorer, a diecast restorer channel, what's a good name? And some of the suggestions that it came up with was really cracking. Revive it cast, all these kind of you know these names. I thought, crikey, I better change my name soon because there's some really good ones out there that people haven't got yet. So, um, so to keep I don't it know, secret. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit reluctant to change it, but um, it's all about advertising your channel. Really, is, is, is you know if you you've got to have a good name to advertise your channel. Yeah, um, I don't know if Lazy Low Collectibles is good. Well, you've got over you close on to two thousand. 1902. Come okay. on, guys, give Laz a push. Give Laz a push. I need Who another needs 98 subscribers to reach 2K. I need and eight if... for 400. So, yeah, that's easier. So, if I will you reach 2000, that. if I will reach 2000, I will do, I will probably give a t shirt away. I will uh, give um a restored card away so i will do a draw right and i have two thousand if, if you think you you you're one of my best friends but um if you think i'm going to create 98 youtube channels just to get another t-shirt no <laughs> not happening you know <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, this is this is what i'm planning to do at 2k that i think i will When's the next live chat featuring a guest, PJ? Am I not a guest, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> you're not good enough. <laughs> I'm just a regular. Well, I think I'm just a regular one now. You, you, you are like part of the furniture, mate. You know, we, we help each other out. So you're like part of the yeah. furniture, aren't you? So I, um, I don't cost as a guest. Kevin, the reason that we, 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 we were talking before we went live, me and Laz were saying, we just like to break the week up. I think we both get a little bit frustrated that we're not doing something on YouTube. So, um, the, Laz is my first port of call. Um, Laz, what are you doing? Can you get online? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and he, he's good enough to help me out. But we've got two, <laughs> we've got two live chats. If you, come, if you want to come and do a, a one on one with me on Midlife Models, just just a date, Kev. Just send me a date. Um, but then we've also got the DMC version of this chat where we've got myself, Laz, Luke, Martin. Uh, there's one coming up this Saturday, I believe, Laz, where we're going to do a – we're going to uh, invite – um, Yeah, it was 16th, I think, the last time. So, yeah, maybe yeah. this Saturday is the next one. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, long. every yeah. two every two weeks, Kevin, we do uh, we do a live chat on the DMC. Sorry, an invite. Soon we're gonna yeah. soon we're gonna be too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna run out of people that we know. Uh, that's gonna be the problem. 
Um, oh, no, we don't. We don't. We got loads of people to invite. That's all right. It's just getting people on board. Um, it was interesting that uh, PB said, surely there must be more than me and Michael that have got YouTube channels. Well, from, yeah, from Australia. No, there isn't. There's, there's, there's loads of Australian restorers that we know, um, but there's not many that have got YouTube channels. You know, there's there's Mark, there's Marty's Matchbox Makeovers, but he's not a part of the DMC. Uh, and if somebody wants to bring him on board, invite him, tell him what it's all about, we'd love to have him here, you know. Um, I'd like so, to invite... Uh, I'd like to on. invite Paul Restorer here. Yes. Does he to actually speak? Does he speak? Yeah, to this chat. I yes. think I think that would be a groundbreaking live chat because nobody knows how he looks. No, or talk. So if yeah. you show him how he looks and he you make him talk, 90, 90 some thousand subscribers would see him on your channel. You know what? I think I've got in all honesty, my friend, I think I've got more chance of winning the lottery. Than to make him talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like unmasking one of them luchadors on WWE wrestling, like you know. It's... <laughs> but you never know um, until you don't ask. You never know. But maybe you, you don't never, want to you, be. You never know. I yeah, don't, don't think. You, um, I was speaking to Don from Diecast Fastback. Flashback. Um, flashback. Sorry. Yes, uh, I think he was saying that. Paul doesn't speak very good English. He's, he's mm. you know, he's, he's, so he's, I think he used Google English. Translator. Yeah, he used Google Translator to subtitle his videos. Yes, <laughs> I have said, is he the Stig? <laughs> yes, he probably is, mate. Yeah, <laughs> hello. Um, yeah, Kev, we, yeah, so yeah, we're doing one this Saturday. I think we've invited um, Michael to do this. Um, this Saturday, Michael is our. I don't like to call him a fifth wheel, that's unfair. Uh, Michael's one of our from Gravesend, Australia. Gravesend, fair wheel, <laughs> die cast restoration model making kit bashing. Yeah, he's got such a long name for his channel. Um, uh, he, he, yeah, Australia, uh, Australia die cast salvage, salvage. <laughs> <laughs> Gravesend, um, Australia, Dyke Salvage, yes. Salvage. But, uh, let, let's put this out there, Kev. Would you be willing to come online and do a do a question and answer session with us? You're more than welcome, mate. You know that. <clears throat> if you want to if you want to invite Michael, I give up my space to Michael or Kevin. No, Michael's the guest. We've got four hosts and we've got a guest as the fifth oh. person. Yeah, but who's so. gonna be the guest? Michael or Kevin? Well, we'll see. I'm too ugly, Kev says. There you go. I don't know. We've got, we've we've seen. Have you seen some of the other people? You know, I'm too, I'm, I'm too sorry. ugly. I'm too ugly. Too ugly. Don't be shy. Look Don't at me, shy. Kevin. Look at me, Kevin. Um. So yeah, we, we we're trying to do one every fortnight. Um, we've uh, invited. Pete from PB Restorations, who's a good guy. Hopefully, we'll get Pete online. Um, the, the 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 unfortunate thing it's not unfortunate. That's that's not the right way to put it. A lot of our really good restorers, they haven't got YouTube channels, and they don't have to have YouTube channels. That's not what it's all about. But I'm wondering whether we'd. I'd like to get some of the guys on board that haven't got YouTube channels. Um, but the reason that we're doing it this way at the moment is to get support for people that have got YouTube channels and try and boost their their figures a bit. Really, it's all about marketing for each other um, and sharing the sharing the wealth. Um, so did I ask you what you got coming up? Did, yes, you did. Did I listen? PJ, PJ, what have you done this week? What have I done this week? Well, I'm currently working. I'm going for a big. I'm working on that um, Hercules mobile crane, um, which is this one. Uh, I, I, it's took it's took two days. Now I don't want to. 
I don't want to give the company away because I don't want to get into trouble, but I'm using a branded um, <laughs> paint stripper. Yeah, the paint stripper. Yeah, I know that. I've got the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give the I'm not going to give the name away because I don't want to blame the company. Um, but uh, if you've ever watched, if you've ever watched Ron from Sumo Diecast, he's got this like um, I, I can't remember what he calls. He's got this pot and it's got a label on it, and it's like the swamp of no return or something like yeah. that. Um, this is the same kind of thing. This is that that's same version. Paint stripper. That, that's your version. Yeah, that's my version. I haven't got a name for it. It may come to life and start crawling across the floor at some point. I don't know. Um, so that is full of <laughs> it's difficult. This is uh, that's full of this liquid. The point being, I actually put this on top of a uh, plastic tray and got a paintbrush and just brushed it over. And it's took two days to get that cleaned off. Yeah. Right. So now bear in mind, it's not only the paint that was on the original vehicle. It's the overspray of paint that's on top of that paint on the original yes. vehicle. So it's. Um, yeah. But it's come up. Interestingly, the die cast has come up really well, but the glass, this seems to be a recurring theme with me. The glass inside the 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 wind the, the plastic windscreen there, the paint doesn't want to come off that glass. No, because it, it didn't I think it didn't touch it much. Not much at all. Well, I don't know, that those two little segments there. They've come up fairly good. It's this one at the front. Yeah, it now, might, I know might. this model is um, based the, this chassis and and cab is is the unit for quite a lot of these different type. There's different types of this model. There's mm. ones that carries an airplane. There's yes. fire engines. There's this crane, and I may have replacement parts to um, put in there, like. But it's yeah. not an expense. It's not the most expensive model to replace if you want parts for it. No, um, that's quite common, that, actually. Not not many people like that one. Um, why am I? Why? Um, Kev's asking why am I using paint stripper? I have to be honest, Kev. I was. Well, this could have sound really bad. I was bored, and I was. I've got nothing to do. It was late at night. And I couldn't wait to – sometimes you'll get a car and you just want to start it and do something to it for, for no reason. And you wish you'd have started to record the video before you'd started. But I just wanted to see what it was going to take to get this um, this paint off this particular vehicle. Uh, so I thought the first thing I'd try was the paint stripper. And – there's something about that paint, this paint stripper that goes that it starts to peel paint in little circles, but it's not consistent across the whole model. So you get little patches coming off, you know. And I thought I'll stick with it and I'll stick with it. And two days later, I finally got it off one side. Um, oh, ho, oh, 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 Martin, Martin's joined us. How are you, mate? Good evening, Martin. Um, so it was just a bit of an experiment, really, to see how well this paint stripper works. <laughs> what I could have, what I should have done, uh, if I was doing the, if I was following the process, Kev, I would have dismantled the model and stuck the chassis and the body into a tub of paint stripper and left it for overnight. And it probably cleared it. I was just bored and I was playing about with a paintbrush. And uh, that that was supposed to be my next question: Why you didn't take it apart and? Uh... Use the paint stripper. I've got, no I've got no excuses whatsoever. I can't give you a rational reason. We ju we just got I just got back from the toy fair and I thought I want to do something. I want to see what it takes to get that paint. Uh, Martin was there, so I showed it to Martin and I said, "It's been over sprayed. What's it? What do you think it'll take to get this paint off?" And I just wanted to get back and try something, so I persevered with it. And that side's come up really nice, but it's just the time. Um, as I say, I think if I'd have split it and put it into a tub of paint stripper. And one tip I'll give you that I got from 
George Sankey, when George was doing stuff, is if you put it into paint stripper, put the lid on the tub, because the the even the um, the, the, the 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 smell it's not the, it it contains it it contains it all in the tub it it goes back on itself which is a terrible way of trying to explain it uh, the fumes the fumes go back into the into the paint stripper uh, instead of it weakens it in 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 air and he was right and uh, I did, I've done it in a tub before and put the lid on leave it overnight and usually it's fine. Um, and sometimes caustic soda can be a little bit rough on some of these models, you know. Um, Rapers, yeah. Rapers, thanks, thanks Kev. <laughs> words, big words, little brain, don't work, mouth not working in gear. Um, if Martin so, yeah, is the vapors, the vapors stay within the container and, and react. They also react to the model. Yes. Um, if Martin is watching, maybe he knows what this this was. I mean, if they if there were any decals on this one, it's a dinky toys bed for them, Martin, with a plastic wheel. I've got two of these to restore for somebody. That's the AA van. AA service. So what year is this if you know Martin and what this might be? Um a post post office or because that's red post office so if you have any ideas i haven't looked it up yet in actual fact if anybody's got any ideas to help our boy or out anybody here. yeah anybody has yeah. an idea yeah. about martin yeah, is the dinky uh, martin is the dinky specialist yes he is yes he is he's we can't take him anywhere as i've i've mentioned i've i've it was. It's a pity he wasn't here a little bit earlier. Him being our superstar, and we have to be his bodyguards when we take him out and look after him. Like you know what I mean? You're Martin Day. You're Martin Day. You all right? <laughs> I did. I did have that at the market as well. I, I did say to somebody who was buying a car from me, and I said, uh, um, somebody bought uh, actually a car I restored, and. Uh, he said, oh, it looks nice. And I said, uh, thank you very much. I've done that one. He said, yeah, I know. I know. I've seen the video on YouTube. You are Leslie Low Collectibles. I said, oh, I wow. Said, you know, it must feel, it must feel, a, you must get a special buzz. that you. It is nice, yeah, when, when like they recognize you. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. there is a group on Facebook uh, called Matchbox Restorers, but it's a Hungarian page. And uh, it's got 2,300 um, <clears throat> members. And uh, there is a, a, a bit older gentleman than me. He does nice restorations. And because of his Facebook uh, um, account picture, I did recognize him on the, um, on the market. And I said, oh, oh, you must be Gabor. And he said, yes, yes. I said, I love your work. I said, it's really nice. And he said, what's your name? And I said, my name. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I recognize you from, uh, from, the fa from Facebook. And he said, yeah. And he said as well that yeah, you do an awesome job. And yeah, it's nice to see these people who, do, who, you know, who do restorations. I yeah, see I him every time, oh, yeah. I, every time I go to the market. You know, you get used to these people. You see the same faces most of the time. Yeah, <clears throat> and you do I'm get gonna, the recognition. Uh, give a couple of shout outs. Play up saying that Google Dinky Bedford Van Royal. Uh, Luke is also saying Royal Mail. Yeah, Royal Mail because he's red. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it's going to yeah. be Royal Mail. Thank you, is that guys. The you think that's the original color, Laz, or has it been sprayed over? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not been yeah. touched yet. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's wheels, pretty much really dodgy, don't they? Yeah, they are rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. They are rubbish. And this, I think there is no suspension, nothing. It's just, it's just, uh, where is it? It's just, uh, just a simple wheel. They look horrible. But he is said, it? I'm not going to change the wheels for him because he said just uh, spray them over and, uh, you know, uh, make them nice and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. I won't be touching it too much. Well, that's that's an interesting question, uh, an interesting point. Um, 
we've both used the um, monochrome, the mono pen. Um, but you've also used the Paco silver pen as well, haven't you? Yes. How would you do your wheels now? Would you do it with the um, the original chrome pen or would you do it with the Paco pen now? Well, depends. I think the Paco pens are better because if I use the chrome, chrome pen on the wheels, they're not like uh, alloy wheels. Mm. You know, your wheels yeah. are not that nice tiny. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Paco pen's a bit darker. It looks like a realistic alloy. Yeah, you know, it, it looks like an alloy color. Yeah. But you were saying you can also. Sorry, mate, go on. For, for the grill, I would use the chrome and then for the lamps, the Paco pen. Yeah. Because, you know, you know the, the, the lamp inside is more like a matte um, aluminum rather than a very shiny chrome. That Paco, that Paco do a really nice orange as well, if you're doing indicators. Yes, I've got the orange. Yeah, I've got yeah. the orange and the red as yeah. well. Um, Martin saying, Ty, Ty did loads of different livers, Royal Mail liveries, I think he means, and Avis to name a few, 72 to 79. 72 to 79. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll read that back. Supplementing letters that Martin's missed out. They did leave they did loads like of different, different liveries. Liveries. Royal Mail. <laughs> Li livers. Royal Mail. Yes, you, you can't eat liver. a bit of liver. Um, you, you gotta, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna. He got, he's gonna give us the bird in a minute. I know he's. <laughs> 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 so he's saying they did. They did a load of different liveries for the Royal Mail, and Avis to name a few, seventy-two to seventy-nine. Um, okay. He, he, yeah. he, he is. Him and Jamo, there are encyclopedic book of knowledge. Um, so is that what you're going? Uh, so is that is that in your foreseeable future then doing this Royal Mail van? Yeah, I will do this. Uh, yeah, I will do both of them for the next market, so I can give them back. All right. Okay. Yes. I'd like to see. It's going to be interesting. Let me know when you drop that because I'd like to see what the uh, the wheel color looks like when you use the Paco pen. Uh, yeah, I will do. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do only one video, but I need to order the decals for this. So I think I will do the video without the decals um, yeah. if they're not arriving. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, this could be even just a just a um, you know a private van without anything really. You could paint could it as long as you paint it royal mail red. If you, if it's going to be red, yeah. Then... You can stick yeah. the decals on after, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, play up saying Royal Mail missing letters, yeah. So it's just, yeah, you're just missing the letters, yeah. yeah. Oh, just the Royal Mail. Mm. Now, now, stop taking the piss. Sorry, Martin, we, we do it with love, you know that. Um, do, the, well. do the chrome pens rub off? Mm, not, but not really, I think. I'm I'm trying to think monochrome. It's not called monochrome, is it? It's called um, Molotov. Molotov. They take a hell of a long time to dry. Well, yes. no. I'll, I, well, I'll, sorry. I'll go back on that a little bit. If you're using the Molotov pens on sixty-four scale wheels, it's not so bad. But if you're covering a large area like a grill on a one forty-three scale, they take a hell of a time to dry. Um, I'm and just you've only got at... to catch it. Go for it. Go ahead. Um, you've only got to catch that um, grill with your finger, and you don't realise yeah. you spread it over the old vehicle. I've done it before. I know what it's like. It's yes. like a pain in the ass to get the stuff off. And one little drop, and you can end up respraying the whole bloody lot. So, yes. I if, picked you, up... if you if Go you on. got the clear coat in the car, and then you touch it with a chrome pen, you can rub that off. That will come off. So, have you? Um, so, it, let, let's take that that Royal Mail van that you've got there for an example. If you paint that um, with your red, whatever red version you're using, would you then lacquer it before you put on your um, yes Paco? Yeah. Okay. If if I put the chrome, 
I will do that after the um, clear code. If I put the um, pack open, that I might do before the clearing. And you get no reaction? You get no reaction no, to for it? No, for the pack open, no. For Chrome, yeah, it becomes mud. So it's, it's not shiny anymore. Now, you told me, and I didn't know this, so for anybody that's watching, listening, um, they do a var various nib sizes because the one that I've got is like a chisel tip, but you say that there's a, is it a one mil or two mil tip as well? No, I, mine is 0 0.7 mil. 0 0.7, okay. Yeah. The, the Pacos that I've got have been from, you're familiar with the range from when I, when you was over in the UK. Um where did you get your Pacos from? Were they Amazon offline? Just, eBay? No, no, no. Just a small uh, a craft shop here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If, so if I buy a t shirt, then I want a free pen chucked in. No, Can that's do. not working. It's not working. Okay. Fair I'm enough. just looking at Luke's uh, um, logo. I think this might be the car he has on the logo. No, I don't know. Yeah, if you look at his logo, Diecast Outlaw, there's a red one in there. Yeah, sorry, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a red one. That looks more like the um, older bed. I think, yeah, or um, or a Ford Transit. But no, that's a Bedford, I think. Luke, if you're listening, what's the year of the Bedford that you've got for your um, channel icon? Martin's saying dries quickly if you use an airbrush. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I don't have a brush. Why is uh, the can Kev the says for transit? Okay. Good stuff. We always think that these chats are never going to last longer than half a minute. <clears> they go on. We we it just seems like we can't shut up half the time. So thank you for thank you for. Thank you to everybody that's um, joined the chat with us. Um means a lot to us. Uh, please subscribe, if you haven't already, to Laz's channel. Um, Thank you, Sean. But obviously, more importantly, my channel. Um, <laughs> I told you it's a, it's a transit, Mac 1 transit. It's a Mark 1 transit. Okay. Yes. Ford transit. Yeah, so, it's a, yeah, so uh, Kev said it's a Ford transit. And, yes. and Luke's saying, yeah, it's a Mark 1 Transit. Uh, so it's not the Bedford. Yes. So you're so lying. Never mind, never mind midlife models. Just concentrate on this one here. <laughs> yeah, because he'll give you a load of false information. <laughs> he'll, <laughs> he'll tell you that his Bedford <laughs> van is a Ford. <laughs> so you, you're, you're in Hungary at the moment, yeah, with your... With yes. your Yes. I'm not, I don't want to give too many details away because they're private, uh, obviously. But you're in Hungary at the moment. Uh, you're stuck there because yeah, with, of yeah. vehicle circumstances. Yes. Um, so does that leave you without access to do anything hobby-wise while you're with your yes, parents? Yes, all my hobby back at home. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've just. I've, well, I've got. I've got cars here, but they mainly for the market. So I've got a few here for uh, for uh, commission work I need to take back with me, okay. and uh, yeah, I've got I've got some diecast here, which is for my collection. I mean, I've got this one from a friend who does work for the uh, emergency services, you know, and he he done this from resin. This is a Toyota Hyas. I don't know how you pronounce that. Toyota Hyas ambulance car, which was in service in Hungary in 1990. Is that a matchbox? No, this is handmade. Handmade? Crikey. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He, he done this from resin. This is all oh, plastic. Resin. Yeah, resin. It's all yeah. plastic. We we need a, a Romanian stroke English dictionary that we can share between the two of yeah, us. Yeah, I'm, really. I'm Hungarian. I'm not Romanian. Resin, 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 yeah, okay. resin, yeah. resin. resin yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, this is a, a Toyota Hyace uh, National Ambulance Services 1990. And he gave me the um, he, he gave me this model. So when you say he made it himself, has he has he taken an existing vehicle or has he 3D printed it or, or what? No, this is this is from Resin. So he made the he made the um uh the I forgot the word. He made the moldings. Yeah. And he he created this, but from this is a real car. This is a Toyota Hiace. Right. Okay. With you. Okay. So this is all plastic. Only apart from the wheels. I mean, they are from a different car, but this is all plastic, all handmade. So basically, he's had to he's had to sculpt sculpture a yeah. form to create a plastic mold. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So th this is amazing, actually, I think. This is the taping. He said the taping was a nightmare to tape all this and paint. All that, and... Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was difficult, he said. Yeah, I mean, I, I always, um, I have to go cap in hand and hit my hat to people who do airbrush painting. I've seen Kev do it. I've seen Martin do it. Um, I've seen Luke do it. You know, if you've got the if you've got the touch to be able to use an airbrush, it's amazing what you can do. I'm quite happy to use a, a can. But even then, if you, I mean, you you use a can as well, and and some of the, and I've always said this to you that the the results you get um, with a can is is second to none. It's uh, the the finish is second to none. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, look at I mean it's just I think that that's is one the, of my favorite colors that you've done. Um, yeah, this is the, the uh, florid. Yeah. Yeah. I love that red. It's uh, it's a gorgeous color. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, this this yeah. this color is is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and shiny, dry enough now. I can. Uh, Martin, yeah, there's brum, a lot of great skills out there. Yes, there are, mate. You're quite right. Yeah. I can brim brim all night. Brim brim brim. <laughs> brim is brum. It's brum brum, not brim brim. Yeah, it's brim brim here. So. <laughs> Shush. You, you can't even say brum brum right. That's bad. That is us. Uh, brum 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 brum. <laughs> We do we do take the Mickey out of each other with our language language barrier issues. <laughs> we had a, we had a quite a, we we have quite the debate over majorette and majorette, mm. but you never get a major you never get a major laz in the air force. You know it's always a major laz. A majorette, yeah, yeah, that's a majorette. <laughs> that kind of shut him up when I said that. So that was that. Um. Is it are majorettes or majorettes? What what is your biggest um, amount of models uh, uh, manufacture wise? Which which ones do you think you collect the most of? Is it Matchbox? Is it Dinky? Is it Corgi? Is it Majorette? Well, I I started to love Corgi toys. Really, these bigger ones. I think they're beautiful. Um. Uh, well, I do like uh, Lesney's, so the regular yeah. wheels, Matchbox yeah, regular Matchbox. wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. they one of my favorites. These ones, not so much. I mean, the eighties. I remember them as I as I had them when I was a kid. I had this as well. In I think exactly the same color black. Well, yeah. Uh, they they too plasticky, you know. I, you I take tend a, to, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. If you take a, a, a regular wheel matchbox, they feel more real, you know. Plus, they are sixties cars. These are eighties cars. I mean, I own this in America. I had one of these in America in a real a uh, real one. We used to we used to drive this around. I think once they moved over to the um, plastic chassis, 
it was no longer something I wanted to collect. You know? Yeah, this is this is plastic base. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was so, interesting because when when we talked about that this um, this mobile crane, I was expecting that chassis to be plastic because I have seen plastic versions of this, but this is steel. You know, this is metal. Yeah, 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 that's, so that's that was steel. great. I'm, the only concern I've got now is well. There's a lot of pins in it, but also how the wheels are connected to the chassis when I open it up. Um, I think they are on that plastic um, suspension. Yeah. Did, did you have you ever? That's it. That's an interesting put as well. Have you ever started a model? Have you ever started videoing a a, a car or a vehicle? And you've got halfway through or a quarter of the way through and gone, shit, I can't do this. It's too difficult to take apart. Yes, it no, is, I have, it's, the, uh, no, it's the Hercules mobile crane. I have one I never completed, which is a um, spot-on Ford Anglia. It's just wow. a Martin knows that. The, the, the chassis is just... It's got so many holes. It's been, I think it's been submerged into water too long. That is just right. looks horrible. Yeah, the base, the body, the, the body, the chassis is full of holes. I don't think, but the windscreen is like brand new. Yeah. But the body, terrible. So I still got that car. I it's 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 been put away. But yeah, it's just too much work. It's not worth it. It's too much I don't material. Know, I don't know why, but I've, I've got a vision of the Ford, the Anglia in sky blue and white, two tone. You know, it looks. Yes. I seem to remember it from watching like TV Harry, in the 70s. Yeah, period. like Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flying car, yes. Uh, so, play up saying Danny's diecast disasters restored the crane. Oh, okay. One to worth, one worth uh, looking up on. Thanks for that, mate. Um, Mars sent. Yes, I remember that one, Laz. Yeah, the uh, Ford Anglia. Yes, one, the Royal Mail van. Uh, just, just to reiterate, Kev was saying, is that a Matchbox crane, uh, PJ? Yes, it is, Kev. It's the Super, Super Kings, Kings. Um, Hercules mobile crane. But interestingly, which I like about this, or found interesting about this, is. It's got two K numbers. If you if you've done Super Kings before, you know that they usually start with a K for King for King Science or Super King, and this is a K twelve stroke K. Oh my God! I'm gonna say one one five, but it might be a one one three. Glasses are not the strongest, but I think it's one of the when they start to create these new futuristic vehicles. I think this is one of the earlier ones because of the, as I say, the steel base because these became plastic. Uh, but I love it. I love. I, I'm really hoping I can restore it because you can also replace the pistons on these. You can get the piston kit um, on the crane. Um, but one of the thing, the K one K one one three. Thank you, playoffs. Um, one of the things that we did find, as I said, uh, now Martin's online, and, and I don't know whether Luke's still here. The prices had gone up when we went to the toy fair. The prices had definitely gone up. Um, that being said, Andy picked up a vehicle, and forgive me, it, um, I forgot what it was that he he picked up, but anyway, he picked up a vehicle for two pound. And he went to a store, probably five down from the one that he picked it up from, and the same vehicle was on store on sale for eight pound, and the one that he picked up for two pound was in better condition than the eight pound one, you know. Mm. So it's it's a bit of an adventure search, searching for decent prices and stuff that you're going to restore need as to well. Shop, need to shop around. You do need to shop around. Um, the the time the time frame 
had been reduced by an hour. Um, although, he, he, that being said, we managed to get away around about, I think it was, I've got a feeling it was about quarter to two in the afternoon because it was open till half past three. We managed to get round, have two cafe breaks, um, and there was probably about 200 stores. Um, it, I don't think anybody come back without having gotten something that they wanted, which was which was really good. Like, but the the meat that we had afterwards, the swap and exchange was really good, and that that was a real buzz. That was, and my thanks to Martin, my thanks to Luke. Uh, Andy's not online. Uh, but thanks to Andy for what they brought with them. We all swapped a little bit of something. Um, Luke, I'll be trying uh, the SP, the special patrol vehicle, uh, sorry, the special patrol car that I've got, I'll be using that white gloss paint on the base. So we'll give that a go. Um, me and Martin have both done the uh, special, the SPC, but with the Tango Red, uh, what I'm thinking about doing, Martin, is to do it in black, like we saw on the Jerry Anderson store. So it's a negative version of the Captain Scarlet version. I'd like to have a go at that. Um, and I think that it would make the logo pop as well. Um, so I'm going to give that a go, I think. That way I, I'm not repeating the video that I've done before as well. And what I might also do is to mould the aerial. Is to take a uh, a resin cast of them of the aerial. So if anybody ever does one of these again, um, we've got a, a mould that we can create some more. Wow, lots of talking, lots of talking, talkity talkity talky. What time? It's off. It's ten thirty. We started this at nine o'clock. We've done an hour and a half, mate. We've done an hour and a half. And where's the time gone again? It's flown past. So any questions, uh, guys in the chat, there's probably only six or seven of us, but I do appreciate those six or seven. Um, any questions? Give it a good shake. I always do. I always do, Luke. Or we might be referring to the paint. Yes, I always, yes, yes, I'll give the paint a good. Uh, I've got the, I've got the Michael Hogg paint mixer. And if, if you, if you, if you know what I mean, you, you <laughs> go, go to Michael's channel. Go to Michael's channel. He, yeah. he made his own paint mixer for a drill. It was brilliant, and I made one. Bless him. Basically, you put a you get a baked bean tin. You put a bolt in the base. Of, you put a bolt, a nut and bolt on the base of it, and then attach it to your drill and put your can inside. Hold it upside down, and away you go. And bless him. It was it was a good idea, and it works as well. So good, good old Michael. Um, Give it a good shake. So you're welcome. Thank you, mate. Uh, any more for anyone? Anymore? Anyone who who said uh, um, I need sizes. So if you want a t-shirt, I need sizes. Yeah. We'll, we'll create you a. Um, we'll find a way of creating something on the DMC channel to. Um, yeah, order. I need to send you. I need to send you some pictures of the T-shirt. Yeah, well, if you send me my triple XL T-shirt with me free uh, pocket grey pen, then I'll I'll put it on the. <laughs> I will send you a picture, and I will try to find a color scheme as well. They have for the for the um, T-shirts. Okay. And it's yes, it's, yeah. it's normal V size or uh, uh, polo shirts. So that yeah. that three you have choices. I'd like a hoodie. I'd like a DMC hoodie. That be really DMC cool. hoodie. Well, I don't have a hoodie. No, oh, it's poor. I mean, if if, if we've all got to you got to you've got to diversify, mate. You got to you know. Hoodies. Yeah, well, I have to. Three quarter well, length yeah. coat. If I have interest, yeah, sure, definitely, I can add it to uh, to the. Um... You see, what I think would sell well. Right, is the Lazlo Collectibles Mankini? Big a Mankini. <laughs> uh, what what that's gonna be? What that contains? The no, Mankini. No. <laughs> <laughs> I strap a I strap a can to a Lars jigsaw blade in a jigsaw. All right, yeah, <laughs> that works. <laughs> 
That was the same night he put something in caustic soda he probably didn't mean to. I strap a can to a large jigsaw blade in a jigsaw. Wow. Not something I'll let the kids play with. Okay. Um, is there anything we haven't covered? What do you think? I think, yeah. yeah we cool. bored we bored the, the viewers enough, I think. Yeah, we bored them to death, yeah. So, um, firstly, my thanks to Laz, as always. Uh, always a pleasure, pleasure. buddy. Um, thank you to the taverners. Uh, most of the guys in the chat are taverners. Uh, thank you to Martin, Luke. Andy's not here. Good to see Kev. Play apps. Mick, good to see Mick. Uh, don't know, have I missed anybody? No, I don't think so. Uh, there we go. So, I think it, in that case, then we'll we'll call it a, we'll call it a night. Um, hopefully, we'll do. We're trying to, although we do the um, DMC chat every two weeks, I think we'll intersperse that with doing either a chat on my channel or a chat on Laz's channel. I think I owe Laz a. Uh, a night where Is he it? can do this on his channel as well. Um, so we're we're up for anything. So if anybody's got any ideas about what they want us to see, what they want us to do, what they want us to talk about, same on the DMC chat. Um, give us a shout, and uh, we'll see you soon. So it's good night from me. Good night. Take care. And a good night from, from everybody. And we'll see you Take Friday, care, guys. Martin. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye.